The water here still needs purification. But with the help from the Tracker Foundation, it will be cleaned up in no time. Look! Big magic from the gods! I can't believe it! Angel Falls has stopped in midair! Oh my god, what's the oh, oh, oh. Incredible! Wait till Matt hears about this! We've been here all day, T-Bob, and not a bite! T-Bob, fire ants don't start fires. Oh, well, uh, at least something's biting today. Oh, look, Scott, the river is drying up. It won't be long, Dusty, before everyone can have a glass of clean drinking water. Thanks to your program for purifying the Churun River, it's going to mean good health and new jobs here in Venezuela. <sighs> Matt! Sam, you look like you've just seen a ghost. That's easier to believe than what I'm going to tell you, Matt. Angel Falls stopped flowing just like this. Hold on, partner. You're trying to tell us that a waterfall almost a mile high stopped running? I've been an environmentalist for 10 years, and I've never seen anything like that. Dad, the river water level went down in two seconds flat. You should have seen it. It was far out. You mean to tell me the water level of the river dropped because the waterfall has stopped flowing? Sounds far-fetched. I'd like to look into this, Dusty. I want to see what puts a waterfall on hold. Looks normal as a back 40 on a summer day. Yeah, maybe it was only an optical illusion. But we saw it, Dad, and so did Sam. And that's why Dusty and I are going to go behind the scenes and have a look. You and T-Bob stay here. Let's try to find some good fish and bait while we're waiting for Dad. Great idea. Oh, let's look for some Spanish-speaking words. Oh, these South American fish ought to go for them. Look, let's check behind the water. I don't see anything that would stop the waterfall. There might be something in that cave. Let's take a look. Take a look, Dusty. Laser burns are all over those rocks. Yes, gravity didn't take a vacation after all. Of course not. Water was obviously evaporated by the lasers. I get the feeling we're smelling fishy water. And the fish smell like venom. I wonder what kind of scheme they've got cooking. I don't know, but I have a friend who might be able to help us. Zuwana. He lives in the Temple of the Parrots. Sure glad I don't have to clean their cages. Imagine the cracker bill this dude must have. <laughs> Matt Tracker, far too many suns have set since we last met. It's good to see your smiling face again, Zuwata. And yours, Matt. How may I serve you? I have a reason to believe there's something worth a lot of money near Angel Falls. Our legends speak of a huge statue called the Scarlet Empress. They claim she was hidden beneath the falls 
over a thousand years ago, but she has never been found. If there's any truth to the legend, she's got to be worth a lot. Yeah, but just think of all the bait she'd buy. Matt, do you think this Scarlet Empress really exists? If Venom's here, she's got to be more than a legend. I'm just afraid they might already have her. We've got to summon the team. Scan personnel files for mask agents best suited for this mission. Personnel selected. Calhoun Burns. Experience in construction and demolition. Vehicle code name Raven. Amphibious vehicle could be helpful. Personnel approved. Assemble Mobile Armored Strike Command. We'll meet Calhoun at the camp when he gets here. Look, everybody! Venom. Dusty, I'll drop you off at the camp so you can get Gator. Let's roll. I want to get a closer look, T-Bob. Oh, I know what you're going to ask me, and the answer is no! I'm not going to convert to motor scooter mode and drive you to the falls. Never! Never! Never say never, T-Bob. Uh, at least never around you. Get behind this natural phenomenon. That's a Roger, Matt. One high drive coming up. You were right, Matt. Mayhem's got a laser show going to evaporate the waterfalls. Well, let's see if we can get front row seats. Rex, you're out of time. Get moving. Wow! We've lost Venom and the Scarlet Empress. Ah, oh, we missed it! The falls are back to normal now. Good! Now let's get back to the temple before we get into trouble. Uh-oh. Which trail did we take? Uh, let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny. D-Bob, that'll never get us to the temple. Are you saying there's a better way? It's only a 
an anteater, T-Bob. I sure could have used him earlier. Boy, oh, with a nose like that, I sure wouldn't want to be around him if he sneezed. He uses it to look for food. Kang, let's follow him. Maybe he'll lead us back to the ant hills where we were fishing. And we can find the way back to the temple of the parrots from there. Snap it up, Gory. I know grandmothers who work faster than you. Okay, Mayhem. Anything you say. Make sure you cover the frame with a lot of bushes. I don't want anybody seeing the Empress when we float her down river, or I'll make a river rat out of you. Now speed it up. Rex should be here any minute with the Red Lady of Fortune. Boy, these sure are heavy. Then use your mask, Mr. Quickwit. Hey, that's a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? Because you don't have all your eggs in the frying pan. Samson, on! Area, then I'm sure to float the Empress down river. How about flying around? That statue must weigh tons. Just keep scanning with Spectrum. That big red gumdrop shouldn't be hard to find. Roger, Dusty. I got a feeling it won't be much longer. Guess what, Scott? We're still lost. Maybe even more lost. Yeah. Even Lewis and Clark would have had trouble finding their way out of this. Shh! Someone's behind those bushes. Let's get moving before those masked fools start snooping around. You took long enough getting here, Rex. I was conserving fuel. Venom! Yeah, and they've got the Scarlet Empress. You're three quarts low in the brain, you know that? You'll be able to buy an oil field when we sell the Ruby Lady. Selling her to a jewel mogul was a good idea, Mayhem. We've got to stop him somehow, T-Bob. We've got to save the Empress. Sorry, but I didn't bring my Superman outfit with me. We may not need Superman, T-Bob. Some little old ants could do the trick. Ants? Against Venom? Yeah. All you gotta do is sneak over and knock the tops off those ant mounds. Mm -hmm. Me? Those fire ants can fight like a pack of wolves. They won't fight, you silly. You're made of metal. You're ant fruit. Now go on. I'll get away from you. Whoa! Hey, what do I look like? Uh, an overgrown ant? <laughs> Fit like a glove, Gory. It will, Mayhem. You know I always do a good job for you. Ah! Ah! Knock it off, Rex. Ah! The jitterbug went out with the twenties. Ah! Ah! I've got ants in my pants. Help! <laughs> Rex, you do any antics to get attention. <laughs> no! Me too. We've got the jewel deal of the century, and you guys want to join an army of ants. I ought to... Ooh! Ouch! 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 I think they're acting 
very antisocial. <laughs> Get off me! I've got a match. Roundup's over, Dusty. About a quarter mile ahead, we should find the Empress. And Venom, too. Give me five, T-Bob. We stalled Venom long enough for Mask to get here. Ow! You have to be so heavy-handed? I've been stung already, Mask. Now it's your turn. When I played basketball in school, Venom, I was pretty good with a rebound. Struck out today. Dad! A parrot flew away with the Empress in his beak. Uh, how are we ever gonna find the Empress now? We may not be able to, Scott. Looks like she's lost again. Even though the shrinking ray will wear off, there's no telling where the parrot will be when it happens. Who knows? Maybe the Scarlet Empress is meant to remain a legend. Yuck! He must be thanking me for helping him get his ant lunch. Yeah, but he ate it so fast, he's probably looking for an ant acid. <laughs> <laughs> I bet ghosts live in there. There's no such thing as ghosts, T-Bob. It's just an old vacant house. <gasps> oh, I thought you said there's no such thing as ghosts. There is, unless you believe in the small, four-legged furry kind. <laughs> <laughs> Save the day. Na, 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 na. 
is very different from anything I ever saw in Canada, mon ami. The city of canals is different from any other city in the world. Come on! You guys are slow! Full speed ahead! Why did you stop? Uh, I didn't stop. I'm I'm stuck. <sighs> Thanks, Jacques. T-Bob must have hit a sandbar. No sandbar around here. This water is deep. Ah, uh, he's just playing one of his stupid jokes. Come on, T-Bob. Wow, he's heavy. Huh? It's a jellyfish! I'm being eaten by a giant jellyfish! It's not a jellyfish, T-Bob, huh? but it is very interesting. It'd be more interesting if it'd let me go! It's like jelly or gelatin, but extremely dense and strong. Let's take it back and analyze it. Couldn't we just throw it overboard and forget about it? Just this once! We have to check out anything suspicious, T-Bob. Dad's sources say that Venom might be operating here in Venice. If Venom is operating, the patient is in trouble. Bob, I need a jar, or something I can collect a sample in. Oh, I can hardly contain my excitement. We'll make sure this fish doesn't get away. Look out! It's coming loose! That was more than a drop in the bucket! Where did it go? It's gone. There's nothing in here. Well, at least we saved a sample. Hey, it's gone. It couldn't have gotten out. The lid wasn't even a jar. Leaking. You could have left the trail leading right to us. We didn't notice. These boys wouldn't notice if their heads were leaking. How were we supposed to notice? We had the drum covered so nobody would see it in our boat. You didn't notice this stuff leaking? Did you suddenly go Venetian blind? Well, it didn't leak much, just a drop here and there. You knew this was a super concentrated formula. Yeah, one drop can affect 10 cubic feet of water. You're just lucky the gelling effect is only temporary. Apparently, no one followed your trail. We'll proceed as planned. Analysis of sample. Ordinary H2O with some pollutants. Huh? The water in the jar is just water in a jar. Chemical pollutants are common in Venice canals. Impossible to isolate cause of the gelling effect. Well, Jacques and I are going to scan the computer library to see if this stuff has ever been found before. But you two can do some sightseeing if you like. All right. We'll rent a boat. That puts the wind in my sails. Okay, I'll drive. Ah, uh, how do you start the motor? 
There's no motor, T Bob. This is a gondola. The gondolier pushes it with a long stick. I get it. I know all about this stuff. Hey, my stick stuck. Scott, come back. I can't. You're driving. Come on. Uh, don't be a stick in the mud. Whoa. Don't worry, Scott. Uh, I got a new step. Mind if I drop him? T-Bob, don't jump! This gondola stuff is a little trickier than I thought. Here's the map. Now remember, Venice itself did not exist when that map was drawn. I know, I know. You'll have to triangulate from geologic features. That is, you'll have to use your head for something other than bowling. Relax, Mayhem, I know what to do. Water's so murky, I can hardly tell where I am. I better surface carefully. This is embarrassing. I don't have to be tied to the boat. You've spent more time overboard than on board. As a gondolier, you make a good anchor. But I've got it all straight now. Don't use the stick. Don't jump into the boat and watch out for bridges. There's no way I'm going to fall out now. Ah! Piranha! Uh, and I don't mean fish. I bumped somebody's boat. Better clear out. Oh, we're getting strung out! Those clowns are following me. Gotta lose them. I can't get us untangled. And I can't reach my radio. They're still chasing me. How can they go so fast? That'll stop them. I can go under that boat, but they can't. What? Ask me. That was Piranha you fellas were playing whaleboat with. Yes, Venom is up to something. And I'll bet that gelled water we found has something to do with it. Satellite link. Mass computer. Select mask agents for mission in Venice, Italy. Vehicle code name Raven. Amphibious capability essential for mission location. Gloria Baker, champion race driver, black belt in Kung Fu. Vehicle code name Shark. Submarine capability gives probable advantage. Personnel approved. 
Assemble Mobile Armored Strike Command. Mayhem, this map must be bogus. There's nothing down there but hundreds of years worth of sunken junk. That map was found sealed in an urn that was 2,000 years old. It's genuine. I stole it myself. Keep looking. Hey, I got a reading. It's big and it's metal. And it's right where the map said it would be. It must be under the mud here. Take a sonograph to read the shape through the mud. Coming up. That's it! That's it! Cleopatra's barge, it really exists. But how did it wind up in northern Italy? It was stolen after Cleopatra's death. But the thieves were lousy sailors and lost it here. Sounds like something Bruno would do. Hey! Looks like any sunken boat. Ah, but this boat is made of solid gold. Disperse and keep your eyes peeled for anything that looks venomous. Dastardly devils, they'll answer to us if they attempt to harm this grand old city. To our vehicles. After you, of course, me. I'm not going to be much help searching Vanas in a land vehicle. Don't worry, Chuck. Just keep your eyes peeled. Okay, Mayhem, it's all set. I laid a circle of explosive harpoons around the barge. All right, get Piranha out of the water. Bruno, you better be in position. I'm ready. I'm as close as I can get to the barge by land. Now remember, once we gel the water, we have less than an hour to pull this job off. Fast! My bird's eye view is laying an egg. Anyone else spot anything? I don't see a single unusual thing on these canals, Matt. Nothing under them either. Matt, Gloria, it's Mayhem and Switchblade. I'm going after it. No, I'm not. Very well, I shall pursue the scallywag on foot. This stuff's more slippery than a banana peel on ice. I'm stuck! I feel like I'm in somebody's jello dessert. Venom's gumming up the works again. Mask! Hey, look! This whole canal is gel! <laughs> <laughs> you may laugh, but I think I can extend myself to meet this situation. Great! You can give me a ride. Dad didn't say we weren't allowed to walk on the canals. Somehow, I feel your dad won't be thrilled with that logic. Every water vehicle in this city is now useless. Scorpion, move in! It works! Scorpion can drive right over this stuff. I'm the only one who can move around. I'm in position. Rax, fire the explosive harpoon. Roger, head up out there. Just as I thought, the gelled water can't blow back into the hole. It won't be long now. Let's add a little hot sauce to Venom's pudding. Smash! This game of 
tag is turning into leapfrog. Got a feeling I'm gonna be busy for a while. Try to get to the mouth of the Grand Canal. Venom's digging something up there. Well, I should be there any year now. I can't stand sitting around. This stuff is so thick. Maybe. Here goes. Mask. I'll get in on this action yet. The heck with this. I'm not waiting around here. Aura, on! Looks like you're on the skids, friend. Can I give you a lift? I hope Moses isn't offended. Vanessa's taking care of that masked marauder. Hurry! This thing must weigh 50 tons, but it slides easy on this jelly water. Rax, as soon as the barge reaches shore, slice it up with your lasers. We'll take a piece in each vehicle. Mayhem, I can't stop this maniac. He's circling back in your direction. Let him come. I'll clip his wings. That should occupy him long enough for us to finish. Dad's in trouble. Come on. Thunderhawk's about to become a lead balloon, so maybe I'd better make a real big splash. Oh no! Go around! Hurry! Calhoun, use Gulliver to make that barge a little easier to carry. Roger. Gulliver, full power, on. Huh? Come on, T-Bob. You can move faster than anybody on this stuff. Well, that doesn't mean I want to. I got it! I got it! Where'd they come from? Cover them! Spectrum laser, fire! Blast! They got the barge and it's a standoff! Let's get out of here! Full power, off! Amazing! Cleopatra's barge will take it to one of Venice's museums. Yeah, and as far as I'm concerned, the schooner, the better! Oh. Oh. doing? Exercising. I decided I need to get into better shape. You'll just wear out your parts. No, I won't. Watch this. See? If you exercise too hard, 
for too long, you can actually strain or even injure yourself. You have to work up to each level gradually. Always have to muscle in, don't you? into the mountain thousands of years ago. No one knows who made it or why. Wow! Dad, can you get a shot of us on top of it? Our work with Tracker Foundation is finished here, Scott. You know we have a flight to catch. Aw, oh, please, Dad, please. It'll just take a second. Zoom in on us? How about I swoop up with your dad, and then we zoom off without you? <laughs> I wonder if we'll be invited to the premiere. I'm sure he'll need a chauffeur, old boy. <laughs> Start waving! He's coming in! Not yet! Uh, the sunlight is exaggerating all my dents and dings. Makeup! Come on down! Yeah, Sour! Uh, this wasn't in my contract! Uh, I quit! What's going on? Get a breakdown of this stuff. Chemical analysis of substance consists of lemon juice, sea salt, chicha, a Peruvian beer, and chirimoya. That's astounding. What, the contents of the rain? No, that, the candelabra. Glowing figures point directly to Nazca Plains, 200 miles southwest of present location. No other significant landmarks aligned on continent.
Infrared scanner detects no heat source on glowing figures. Then what makes it glow? Are we really going to the Nazca Plains? I talked to my friend, Professor Carruthers. He's expecting us there tomorrow. All right! The mysterious figures of the Nazca Plain. It's all perfect for my epic. Sacrifices I make for art. <gasps> art who? Well, some sort of mechanism must have been used to spray that stuff out there. Alex, first thing tomorrow, I want you to check into any companies that rent aerial farm spraying equipment. Here it is. It seems there's only one company with aerial spraying equipment in town. Vera Nova Manufacturing? VNM? Does that sound familiar to anyone? VNM? Vermin? Close enough. Venom. Interface with headquarters secured. Select the agents best suited for a mission in the high desert Nazca plains of South America. Bruce Sato, mechanical engineer and design specialist. Vehicle code name Rhino. Mobile command center essential. Julio Lopez, occupation, position, vehicle code name, Firefly, dual capabilities as dune buggy and aircraft, vital. Brad Turner, expert motorcyclist and helicopter pilot, vehicle code name, Condor. Air mobility, critical. Approved. Assemble Mobile Armored Strike Command. I'm so glad you were able to come, Matt. I wish it were under more pleasant circumstances, Professor Carruthers. Gracias, Miguel. You had asked about the plains of Nazca. It's an old myth about a priceless treasure hidden in a place called the Cave of Winter. Did you hear that? Real treasure! Whoopee! However, I've never been able to learn what the priceless object might be, or where the cave is. You said something about an odd ceremony connected with a legend. As you can see, the ceremony consists of preparing vast amounts of dreadful liquid, made from cherimoya, corn beer, lemon juice, and other ingredients. The ceremony is ancient. From what I can tell, it predates the Nazca. Some scholars think the legend goes back 10,000 years to the Ice Age. 10,000 years? That's almost as long as it takes Scott to clean his room. Alex, let's see if there's any venom on the Nazca Plains. Bob, come on. I just spotted a perfect location for a cave of winter scene. Okay, now, you go in and look for the treasure. Me? Oh, no, you don't. You have my stunt double do that. You are the stunt double. Now get moving, or you'll never work on one of my pictures again. There's no treasure in here. All that's in here is probably bats and rats and bugs. Uh, you get the shot yet? 
were screaming. I was saving my life. Your eyes were glowing. What? Uh, don't be ridiculous. I'm going to drop into this canyon to stay away from Venom Radar. the best place for a cricket field. Aren't we done yet? Hold your horses, runt. We have one more pass for this sector. Mac, hold of that yellow rain. I can't see. The windshield's blurred. Alex, lean out and give me directions. I can't see a thing. Are you all right? I certainly wouldn't hire you as a parking attendant. What's been taking you guys so long? Mayhem's real mad, you know. Pipe down and fill it up, twerk. You're behind schedule. Well, I haven't stopped waking for a second, so don't look at me. Don't worry, Malloy. No one ever wants to look at you. I don't know how many more of these clues we have to follow to get to the treasure. But I do know, the only thing that's holding me up is you two! What's the hurry? I don't see you up there. Mayhem! My infrafilter works! The camera picked up a figure that's glowing, just like it would if it was night. Let's move! He's dead. Maybe everybody's out to lunch. Hello, Scott. Dad! No, it's Bruce. We're 15 minutes away from Nazca. I haven't been able to raise Dad all day. I think something's wrong. Don't worry. We picked up Thunderhawk's homing signal. I'm sure we'll be in touch with him shortly. We've got to tell Dad that T-Bob's eyes are glowing. They're glowing from the mystery rain. Brad, it's important. We should be able to get better radio reception here. This is Tracker calling Mask Transport. Calling Mask Transport. Matt, this is Bruce. We're almost with you. We just got the strangest message from Scott. He said something about T-Bob's eyes glowing. T-Bob's eyes glowing? Get here as fast as you can. Over. You have something?
The mystery rain spray by Venom must have reacted with phosphorus in T-Bob's eyes. The figures below us have just been sprayed. That means they might glow in the dark. Spectrum Infrared, on! That's it! Direction indicated northwest. No significant features in alignment with glowing figures. Brad, Julio, go northwest from here. Keep an eye out for mayhem. He can't be far. Let's get moving. This is the cave of the winters. All that work for a hole in the ground. You should consider yourself lucky to be part of this scheme. I certainly do. It's mine! Members! You two get up there and drive them off! Get outlaw ready for action! Should have got insurance on this one. It's sweltering in here. What a stupid place to hide a treasure. Sight, isn't it? Yeah, but there's something missing. Mayhem! That's the treasure? Mayhem! You're helpless, Mayhem. You'll never get me! Viper! Ah! Stars! 
I've made the best movie ever. It's pretty warm in here. It appears as though this cave was inhabited thousands of years ago. Possibly during the Ice Age. If this is the Cave of Winters, who oh, wears the treasure? It would appear that the treasure is in the eye of the beholder. I didn't quite catch that. Of course. Don't you see that? This is the treasure. A bunch of water and steam? Big deal. During the Ice Age, this would have been a very big deal. The heat, this refuge from the cold, was the ultimate treasure. Life. Yeah, I can see what they got all steamed up over. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you can count me out of your next picture. Oh, you can't mean that. You'll be perfect for Planet of the Slave Robots. T-Bob! No, no, no. It's too late for apologies. The next time you want... <laughs> I was trying to tell you that if you put hot grease under cold water, it might splatter on you. You could burn yourself real bad. in here tonight. That's what you said last night. Three cars vanish in one night. I just can't figure out how they disappeared. Me neither. But if we're not careful, our jobs are going to be the next thing to disappear. Hey, she's a new one, ain't she? Yeah, she was donated to the museum from the Tracker Foundation. Mad Tracker, he's got good taste. But I love that little 61 Maserati over there. She's a looker, all right. But I still like the Bugatti. <gasps> Look! The Bugatti! And the two cars next to her! They're gone! But that's impossible! Uh, we've been here the whole time! This is never going to work. Hey, your dad will be angry if he finds out what we're up to. Shh. How am I supposed to eavesdrop while you're talking? You're not supposed to eavesdrop. Oh, this is a dumb idea anyway. Last night, three more cars disappeared. A Lamborghini, a Duesenberg, 
and the Bugatti you donated. That's six in the last two days. Maybe it was an inside job. Absolutely not. I know the guards. They'd never do anything of the kind. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you in person about the Bugatti. I'm very sorry. Sometimes that which has vanished without a trace has not really vanished at all. Hmm. Mr. Ramsden, would you mind if we stop by the museum later to take a look around? Not at all. But I'll warn you, so far even the police haven't been able to find a single clue. I'll expect you at the museum soon. Come on, T-Bob. This is great. We can follow them back to the auto museum. What do you think, T-Bob? Uh, I think we auto, not go. You know your dad wouldn't want you to. The only way we're ever going to convince Dad to let us join Mask is if we crack a case ourselves. Let's go, T-Bob. Oh, why couldn't I belong to a little old lady who'd only drive me crazy on Sundays? This is where your Bugatti and the other two cars were when they were stolen. All the windows were locked, I assume. Oh, yes. Very securely locked. Even if they weren't, it's pretty hard to get a car through a window. You might say it'd be a pain. Now you see why the police have given up. You don't need a policeman. You need a magician. This is a disappearing act. Higher, T-Bob. I can't see anything. What's the drainage grating for? Oh, the museum was once a giant car garage, believe it or not. I converted it. I think the best thing to do at this point is to scout around the two entrances and see if we can spot anything unusual. Right. I'll take the back. I have to leave you on your own. I'm due at the police station to make a statement. I hope you find something. All right. Be careful. Now's the chance. Oh, come on, T-Bob. Just a little more. What? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, well, hey, if you can't beat him. It's one of the guards! Duck! I can't duck! I'm on my head! So you're the one that made all that racket. Okay, you can stay here for the night, but out you go in the morning. Phew! That was close. And I think I could have been a carefree trash compactor. Transistor! <laughs> nice mountain lion! Whoa! At a time like this, uh, there's only one thing to do. What's that? Put on your safety belt! Bruce, you ever get the feeling that we're missing something? Perhaps we look, but we do not see. Hmm, Confucius again? No, my Uncle Lee. Come on. Here you go, boss. The last three cars you wanted. Bad. The shrink ray had to be recharged, or we could have gotten them all last night. 
What an ingenious plan this was. I am continually impressed by my brilliance. Somebody's gotta be. Why am I the only one who has to wash the cars? I'm fed up with this work. Hey, let's shrink Dagger so his body matches his brain. That's impossible. He would cease to exist. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get out of here before Mayhem sees us. Hey, Mayhem! How much is that guy gonna pay for these cars anyway? Higher than you can count. Over twenty dollars. Whoa! Now! Whoa. Whoa! Oh, what's it called when you have fear of heights? It's called getting caught. Uh, I think I just got over it. Uh, let's go! Whoa! 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 Come on, T-Bob. We've got to find a place to hide. I found mine. Hey, it's nice in here. Yeah, nice and dangerous. Now let's go. I don't get it. Three more cars impossibly disappear in the blink of an eye. There's got to be a secret to all this. The secret of illusion is often nothing more than looking in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hmm. What is it? While we were outside, someone came through. When I checked earlier, there were four screws. Now there's only three. Then it's safe to assume there's a screw loose somewhere. But even so, you can't just pick up three cars and carry them in your pocket. Of course! This may sound crazy, but I think that's what our magician did. He shrunk the cars. Maybe Professor Duncan can shed some light on this subject. After all, his research led to Calhoun's Gulliver mask. If we're right, I'd wager there's a sophisticated mastermind behind all this. Me too. Where does this drain lead? The sewer. Venom. Select the agents best suited for this mission. Bruce Sato pre-selected. Calhoun Burns, Gulliver Mass, function of reduction and enlargement imperative to current mission. Vehicle code name, Raven. Buddy Hawks, Master of Disguise and Intelligence Gathering, also Maintenance Specialist, Vehicle Code Name Firecracker. Personnel approved. Assemble Mobile Armored Strike Command. We gonna get by him. Don't worry, you'll think of something. Good. Uh, I was getting worried for a minute. Huh? Hey, Mayhem, I got a great idea. You better keep it. It's in a strange place. Why can't I wash the cars while they're still tiny? Then it won't be so much work. You can't wash them when they're tiny. You're such a klutz, you'd break all of them. I ain't so klutzy. <laughs> <laughs> Dagger, you stupid moron! Talk about surfs up! Get ready to hang ten, T-Bob! Hurry, T-Bob! I prefer hang on! T-Bob! Ah! Ah! Oh. We've got to do something! Macy's late. I wonder what's hanging him up. Probably counting all the money he's gonna hand over when he gets here. Now what are we gonna do? I can't hang around here all day. We've got to contact Dad. 
right away. But we can't go up there. If they step on me, oh, I'll look like a bottle cap. Well, I'm not afraid of those heels. Let's go, T-Bob. Whoever dreamt my life would be threatened by a sneaker. I wish that guy in Macy'd hurry up. I want to go spend some of my money. What are you going to buy? A new face? What'd you say? Just as well Macy's late. Those last three cars haven't popped back to full size yet. We're going to grow back. Boy, am I glad to hear that. I was beginning to think I'd have to look for work as a salt shaker. Are you kidding? Don't you realize, T-Bob? We solved the mystery. Now all we have to do is contact Dad on your radio. This will bring new meaning to the term shortwave radio. You know, I never could get that shrink ray to work quite right. Always needed recharging too soon. You're thinking about restarting as a project? Let's just say I have a hunch. One of my competitors has taken a big interest in shrinking things. What's this? It's not locked. Someone's broken in! Looks like quite a bit of mayhem, all right. The shrink ray prototype! It's gone! About time you guys showed up. Venom's got the prototype, all right. Unfortunately, that still doesn't tell us where they are. Scott, where are you? I can hardly hear you. That's because we've been shrunk. Venom's got your car and a bunch of other ones in a warehouse. And we can't get out. Uh-uh, but you've got to get here quick. Some guy's going to come and take all the cars real soon. Don't worry, son. I'm going to trace your location on the computer. Lock in T-Bob's homing device. I used to live in that area. It's pretty deserted, except for a few houses and an old warehouse. Scott, stay hidden in a safe place. The effects of the shrink ray will wear off soon, and I don't want anything happening to you. We're on our way. Now what? You heard, Dad. We stay in a safe place. The safest place I can think of is home. Ouch! It isn't even safe now. There it is, Mayhem. Now give me my cars. I got a trailer outside to load them onto. Knock on the door with Rhino. My pleasure. What's that noise? It's Mask! It's Dad! like having pygmies rescue you from an elephant stampede. It's out of power. But we're not. Get them. I'm going to love breaking in these new shoes. Great idea, Mayhem. I think I'll help you. Oh. 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 Pick on somebody your own size. Thanks, Cal.
Calhoun, that was almost a crushing experience. I think I'd better take Rex down a notch or two. Or should I say, an inch or two. Gulliver, on. Let's get out of here before they cut us down to size. Buddy, let's stop the rats before they leave the sinking ship. You hit them off, and I'll make them dance. dangerous stunts, okay? Okay, Dad. Sorry, but we kinda helped, didn't we? Yes, but... Then maybe we can go on a mission for real sometime. Here we go again. Maybe in a little while. A little while? Forget it. I don't want to do anything little for a long, long time. <laughs> 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 hey, T-Bop, you're not wearing your baseball helmet. I know, but it ruins my view of the pitch. And besides, it's too hot anyway. Yeah, but... Come on, come on. Just pitch me one. Okay. Ow! T-Bop, are you okay? You're supposed to use the bat to hit it, not your head. From now on, I'm going to use my head the right way and always wear a helmet when I play baseball. Secret Raiders who will neutralize Soon as they arrive The soundtrack is going to lead the mission
We're glad Dad brought us to India, T-Bob. Look at that guy laying on the nails. He can't even feel it. Big deal. I can do that easy. It's just a magic show. It's not really a magic show, T-Bob. This Shiva festival is part of India's culture. Look, a uh, dancing rope. If Dusty had that kind of rope, he'd be able to lasso a lot of cows. How is he doing it, Alex? I don't know. The rope is usually tied to a treetop, hidden from view. Hey, Scott, I dare you to climb it. Go ahead, lad. I doubt if you'll go two inches before the rope collapses. Watch out! My cobra is loose, and my flute, it flies like a bird! Oh no! Out of the way! Excuse me! Please, out of the way! Hurry! Oh. Oh, that snake sure liked whatever that flute was playing. With this new tractor, Mr. Subas, you'll be able to know your soil composition and seed distribution with the touch of a button. No guesswork. Good crop yield every season. I thank you on behalf of the Indian people, Mr. Tracker. Many empty stomachs will now be filled. That's why I call my new tractor the Horn of Plenty. I thought the festival lasted till sunset. It turned out to be a limited engagement. You should have seen it, Dad. A king cobra followed this floating flute and scared everybody. Uh, and Scott climbed a rope that went straight up in the air. Wait a minute. Floating flutes, uh, running cobras? Alex? Well, not that it makes any sense, but a fakir somehow did the genuine Indian rope trick. At the same moment, a flute went winging through the air, luring a cobra from the festival. Then as soon as the cobra left, the rope I was climbing went limp. Sometimes the eye does not behold the truth. I think I can still catch the curtain call, and maybe Mr. Subas can help. You're never going to make the noodle climb into the air. No, I did it! Scott, I charmed a worm! Looks like you lost your charm, T-Bob. <laughs> he says he doesn't know what's going on, but his snake supposedly has value to the gate of darkness. Gate of Darkness? That's the ancient memorial dedicated to the Indian kings of long ago. But the Gate of Darkness is lost in the jungle. Wonder why anyone would be interested in the old place now? Easy. There's a legend to the gate that it holds a jewel-studded, solid ivory throne that was used by the ancient kings. If it exists, it would be priceless. Ta-da! Presenting Scott Tracker, the world's greatest fakir. You don't need a flute to move this rope, T-Bob. You need a whole orchestra. I don't get it, T-Bob. It worked fine earlier. The rope doesn't have much of a backbone. It's hollow. Mmm. <gasps> oh! High-tech hydronics. The rope is driven by the hydronics. But that doesn't explain the flying flute. Then perhaps if we can find the gate of darkness, we'll have our answers.
Somebody's got to get that thing's attention or we'll never get the information we need. I'm a real charmer. I'll do it. Good thing I played the flute for the rope trick. You would have never diverted the spectators. Yeah, Dagger. You sound like you're stepping on a weasel's tail. Shut up! We're out to steal a jewel-loaded ivory throne, and you guys are giving music critiques. You're driving me nuts with this thing. Snakes are deaf anyway, you idiot. They are. Sorry, I won't do it anymore. I got it. I drew it. Okay, Rembrandt, I hear you. Now let's move it. This ancient map will lead us to the Gate of Darkness. Hey, where'd you get that? It was simple. I went to a gas station and I said, I'd like one map to the Gate of Darkness. Really? How much did it cost? You ignoramus. I stole it from a tribe in the Himalayas. Now let's go. Just think, T-Bob. We're on a real Indian safari. Well, safari, so goody. It was nice of the India Department of Records to let us borrow this. Yes. If we can combine our modern technology with the ancient info on that map, maybe we'll come up with the location of the gate. I'm picking up rather curious magnetic activity in the area map. I'll lock in on its frequency. Whoops! That looks like the flute that floated away from the festival, Dad. The flute's magnetized. There's only one group with equipment sophisticated enough to do something like that. Venom. So, they're behind this mysterious floating flute. They've got to be after that legendary throne. With Venom involved, that ivory throne has to be more than a legend. It's time to call in the team. Scan the personnel files for the mask agents best suited for this mission. Alex Sector, Bruce Sato, pre-selected. Personnel selected, Brad Turner, motorcycle and helicopter pilot, vehicle code name Condor. Piloting skills could be an asset for the mission. Buddy Hawks, master of disguise, intelligence expert, vehicle code name a firecracker. Vehicle could be valuable in jungle terrain. Hey, oh, wait a minute. Whoa! Personnel approved. Assemble Mobile Armored Strike Command. Looks like they celebrate the Shiva festival everywhere in these parts. Matt, look out! Everybody okay? At least for the next 30 seconds. We're okay here too. <laughs> if the heat reaches our fuel tanks, <coughs> we've had it! <coughs> it's going to explode! <coughs> we'll put Rhino back on its feet. Bruce, use lifter. Reflect off the ram. Right. <coughs> Mask. Lift off on. Looks like we were the main attraction at the festival. At least for a few seconds. Yeah, but the spotlight was too hot for me. The 
Gate of Darkness has to be near here. I can just feel it. I don't see anything. Are you sure this Gate of Darkness isn't just some old wise tale? Hey! Who turned out the lights? Your lights have been out since you were born, idiot! Huh? I hit something! I can't believe it, Tiger! You just crashed into the Gate of Darkness! I did? I always knew I was an important part of our team! Face it, Dagger. You're lucky you made second string. We've got to be narrowing in on the Gate of Darkness, guys. Or we're getting good and lost. The map's so full of squiggles, Dad, we can hardly read it. Those squiggles, Scott, are ancient Indian writings that mark roads and pathways to the gate. How about it, Alex? Any light at the end of the tunnel? According to the old map, we're on the sacred path of the kings. It should take us right up to the gate. It opened the gate just as I suspected. Follow me! Amazing! Look at this stuff! Just waiting all these years for me to take! Amazing! Soon it will be my turn to be king! One of you monkeys get that throne! But I, uh, I'm afraid of heights. Get going. Why me? Move it, dagger. with me on every job we do. Dagger, you're in charge of the throne. This place is supposed to be full of valuables. Let's clean it out. Wow, this place is ancient. Yeah, it's even older than your dad. What's worrying me is I don't see any way into it. A house has many doors. Right, Bruce. We'd better analyze the entire structure on the computer. Maybe we'll jolly will find a welcome mat, Matt. What's the readout, Alex? A negative. The gate appears to be closed like a tomb. That makes sense. We're dying to get in. Hey, you guys. Me and Buddy are about 5,000 feet straight overhead. Never saw a rhino in India before. And your timing couldn't be better. Did you get my briefing on the gate of darkness? Every word of it. Good. We're looking for a way into the place. I need a video scan from top side. Let's get a top angle on the computer. What do you make of it, Alex? You're not going to believe it, but what you're looking at is the scale pattern on the back of a King Cobra's head. I've handled enough of them to know. That's the same type of snake that followed the flute away from the festival. Venom wasn't after the flute. They just used it to steal the snake in order to find their way into the gate. Brad, buddy, we've got the info we need. Do a trans drop and meet us here. Hey, Brad, look who's here. Matt, 
This is Brad. We spotted the Venom vehicles. They must be near the entrance, guys. Moving in. You two stay put. I mean it. Hmm. That's all of them, Mayhem. Now, let's get out of here. This diamond-shaped rock corresponds to the projection on the cobra's hood. It should be the entranceway. Matt! Viper off! It's not a very cordial welcome. Ultra flash on! Whoa! Hot potato! Hot on! <laughs> Tie the throne on the switchblade! Make it fast! Fred, use Condor in air mode! Keep Venom's chopper corralled, so we don't lose the throne. Keep him busy till I get the throne out of here. You know what I love to do, Venom? Fly like a daredevil. You must be crazy, Mask! That's it, Mayhem. Just head on back to your friends. I've always wanted to get my claws on you, Mask. This guy's attitude really grabs me, Matt. Yeah, it'll do in a pinch. I think it's time to cool Venom off. Buddy, see if you can snatch us a throw. Here's one quick way to untie knots. Go! <laughs> Lift up on! You may have the throne, man! But you'll never defeat my seat of power! Oh, wait a minute! A robot's before boys! Since when? The kings that sat in this throne weren't robots. I know, but I'm T-Bob the first. <laughs> okay, T-Bob. But make your reign short, or Prince Scott is going to cause your overthrow. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that Tarzan movie we just saw makes me want to climb a tree. But T-Bob, you're not built for climbing trees. But I am. Watch this. Hey, you're climbing too high. If you fall, you could break your arm or your leg or even your neck. Yeah, you're right. Climbing too high is dumb. Hey, Scott, take a look. I am too built for climbing trees. T-Bob, that's a shrub. Well, I... 
What happened? Some, What's going on? What happened? Yeah. What, what is this? Over He's here, over here, come on. I can't control it, sir. Quick, tell the captain she's dead in the water. Aye, aye, sir. But our engines are still operating at full speed. <laughs> the Monocora! The Monocora Giant! We're going to run around! Abandoned ship! <laughs> According to the crew, my freighter was in this area when she disappeared. Ah, oh, there she is. Take me in closer. But, Mr. Mandrick, that is Island of Manakara. I don't care who owns the island. My freighter is down there. What the devil? You say right, Mr. Mandrick. Prince belongs to Manakara. The monarch. Kara. Then the pilot told me some crazy story about a giant named Manakara living on the island. Legend says when it gets angry, nothing is safe that gets in its path. The pilot told me this Manakara giant was responsible for all these accidents. There's no logical explanation, Matt. A monsoon, for instance, that explains what pulled the freighter ashore. Then it must have been the giant. Wow, I wish I could have been there. Well, I don't. One giant step, and I'd be just another pile of scrap metal. But Stephen, your freighters have used that straight for years to transport cargo. Why did Monacara dip his fingers into this one? I don't know, Matt, but this platinum shipment was one of the biggest we've ever transported. And I've got an even bigger shipment of platinum that must go through. My entire business holdings are at stake. I need your help, Matt. Hmm. I've got some friends who might be interested in checking into this. I'll give them a call. Thanks, Matt. I'll arrange for them to stay in a house on the island. Don't worry. We'll get to the bottom of those footprints, Stephen. Oh, boy! Giant hunting! Just like Jack and the Beanstalk! You're full of beans if you think I'm going after some storybook character! Come on, T-Bob. There's no such thing as giants. That's right, T-Bob. There's got to be a logical explanation behind the Manakara legend. And Manakara. I just hope I don't turn into a shell of my former self. Talk about a king-sized bathtub. I wonder if Manakara plays with rubber ducks, too. Bring it up, Gloria. I want a closer look. Uh-oh. There's more here than a ship out of water. Look! Manakara! 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 I wonder if they're cannibals! You've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Greetings, uh, Chief. Lovely day for a picnic. Must give to Manakara, giant from sea, 
Angry. Never come on land before. Tell me, Chief, did you see Manakara do this? No one ever see Manakara. Live in Deep Channel, Guard Island. Then how do you know the big boy really did this? Manakara take food. Watch. Oof. At least we know Manakara is not a junk food junk. Mm. He doesn't know what he's missing. What a large foot. He must have a hard time getting a pedicure. Hmm. It's going to be interesting putting these prints through the computer. But who made these prints? 90-pound weaklings? Sea turtles lay eggs this island first time. Before, always lay eggs under full moon on other islands. It sure is strange these sea turtles and the ship pick the same night to find new diggings. My feelings exactly, Gloria. Let's see what we can find out on the computer. Come on, T-Bop. Let's go nose around and see if we can find any shells. I know what we'll find. That giant's around here. I can feel it in my surface. Whoops! Ah! Oh! Be careful, T-Bob. Ah, oh, don't worry about me. Seashells don't bite. Huh? Ah! Manakara! Oh, sure. I suppose Manakara shrank overnight. But I did see Manakara. There's some more of those sea turtles. Sea turtles? Giants? This place has more characters than a bedtime story. Good idea, T-Bot. There'll be no shut-eye for us tonight. Because we're going to be right here watching when Monokara comes out. Why don't we do something else instead? Like go home. We've tried everything, yet nothing makes sense. There's got to be something we missed. We know everything but Manakara's shoe size. Wait a minute. That's it. Manakara's footprint may tell us what really made those tracks. Boy, grown-ups sure get to stay up late. Ooh. Well, you're not grown up. Let's go back to bed. We overslept. Maybe Manakara came out already and went back to bed. Manakara! No! Sea turtles! Talk about a cloud! Hang on, T-Bob! Woo! Ah! <gasps> they had me wedged in tighter than a turtle neck. What? T-Bob, come back! Hey, what's going on? Something's pulling me into the water. T-Bob! Scott, help me! Something's pulling me into the sea! Bob, hold on! I can't, Scott! I'm in the middle of a taffy pull with the Invisible Man! Uh, uh, uh. Oh! It's Manakara! Whoa! Bob! Come back! T-Bob! I was right. According to this, those footprints didn't have any details on them, like real prints. Yeah, 
somebody's trying to fill the giant's shoes. Somebody with big feet, but who? Dad! It's T-Bob down by the beach. Manakara's got him. Manakara! Come on, let's find out who's impersonating a giant. Hurry, Gloria, before T-Bob finds himself the blue plate special a la Manakara. This is it. This is where Manakara got T-Bob. T-Bob's homing signal. Good, we'll reel him in. Gloria, amphibious mode. We're going fishing for a robot. Gee, Dad, do you think T-Bob can hold his breath that long? Sure, he knows when to keep his mouth shut. Matt, T-Bob must have made that furrow over there. Something dragged him along the ocean floor. Something with a mouth like a vacuum cleaner. There's no trace of him. Ah! Ah! What is it? Gloria! Hey, look! The instruments are going wild! And so is the shark! I, I can't control it! I still don't understand why you made us move the machine from the other island. Foolish female! Only the local people were fooled. That's why we moved the machine before investigators came. I'll continue the test. I want to make sure the machine wasn't damaged in the move. Love to. Here comes our bait now. All right, it's working, it's working. Shut it off, Vanessa. Hey, what happened? We're not being pulled anymore. I've had enough. This crazy gadget of yours had better make us rich. Richer than yesterday, Rax. Soon the largest shipment of platinum ever will be going through, and we'll be ready. And the instruments have returned to normal. I bet whatever made them do a song and dance also pulled T-Bob. He's only a homing signal away. Is he gone? Is who gone, T-Bob? That despicable sea behemoth, of course. Then you did see Monocara. Well, not exactly. But some strange force did pull me along the bottom, on my bottom. It stopped when I got here. And then you faint. Can you think of a better way not to see the giant? Now I see what attracted T-Bob here. Some kind of magnetic device must be hidden somewhere in the jungle. And that pulled T-Bob up onto the beach and us underwater. And the freighter onto the other island. Scott, you and T-Bob stay here where it's safe. Come on, Gloria. We'll pay Manakara a neighborly visit. What do you know? The scourge of the seven seas. Venom. It's Monacara's foot, all right. Too bad it's not in Mayhem's mouth. So this is the magnetic device. Those loudspeakers must account for Monacara's laugh. No wonder those turtles lost their sense of direction, Matt. With Mayhem's machine calling the play. Yeah, their magnetic sensors went haywire, like the freighter. It's time to call in the team. Oh, uh, don't these things ever stand still? Grab on, T-Bob. It's not dangerous. Yeah, whoever said turtles were slow? 
But Dad sure is it. He and Gloria are already in the shark, waiting out there for venom. This time, there's no way we can get into trouble. Precisely on schedule. Rex, ready the machine. We're ready. No! Again. Well, it's about time those guys showed up. Mass! Their barrier is deflecting our magnetic beam. Turn off the machine. We're going in. We're safe. With a magnetic barrier, the ships can move on. I'll be right there. Venom. Let me ask. Let's go, Bruce. All right. Oh, I thought you said we weren't going to get into trouble this time. This time it's not my idea, and it'll be okay as long as we've arrived at this island. Ooh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> We're going to see the Manicara giant, the Venom Man. Wow! Out of sight, Venom, out of aim. the platinum shipment, the straits are safe once more. Right, Matt. Manakara's going to be sleeping in the channel for a very long time. Yeah. No more giants or magnets. Not so, T-Bob. When I grow up, I want to be just like Dad's friend, a shipping magnet. <laughs> <laughs> It was your fault. You didn't look where you were going. Hold it, you two. Always have your fire route mapped out in advance. Know where the exits are, and have a rope or chain ladder ready if you're on the second floor. Right, Dad. Knowing your escape route is like having built-in fire insurance.
And in this compartment, gentlemen, it said the famous spy Mata Hari herself wants travel to escape the Allies. Wow! Lots of famous people traveled on the Orient Express. Spies, kings, and criminals. But you, T-Bob, are our first robot. Oh, yeah. How about that? Well, I'm Scott's first robot, too. It must have been exciting being on a train with all kinds of criminals. If that's what you want, just hop on a subway. Thanks for giving us the tour. Scott's getting a real kick out of it. It is my pleasure to share the mystery and intrigue of the Orient Express with such honored guests. The train's slowing down. Are we going to stop here? We are entering a tunnel, a mere precaution. Oh, right. I love going through tunnels. Not me. We get stuck in enough holes as it is. Oh. Hey, what happened? Boom! So bright! Wow! Oh, 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 it's oh, so bright! Oh, oh, it's oh, high. What does that mean? Oh, 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 This is most unusual. I assure you, it is never. Huh? What is this? The doors, they're gone. Wow, ripped right off their hinges. Why would anyone do that? Maybe they're giving away door prizes. It must be connected with the flashing lights. Would you mind if I did some investigating? Anything, please. The doors are irreplaceable. I can't figure it out. Why would anyone want to steal three old doors? Maybe the tunnel will shed some light. Okay, T-Bob, turn on your headlight. Oh, I'm not so sure about this. Oh, what if another train comes through? I'll be turned into T-Blob. No chance of that. The conductor arranged for all the traffic to be rerouted. Either I need oiling or that's... A mouse! Well, I sure know how to wind up in a mess. So that's it. Strobe lights. They were triggered to turn on when the train entered the tunnel. Seems like a lot of trouble just to steal some doors. It could be our troubles are just beginning. Ah, Mr. Tracker. There has been a most interesting development. The doors are not all that it's disappeared. We are also missing a passenger. A passenger? Who? The Countess Forsyth. This is her passport. Apparently, she dropped it. Hmm. Something about the Countess looks familiar. Mind if I hold on to this for a while? As you wish. I'm running this through the computer. Status of passport forged. Read digitalization of photograph in progress. Stand by. Read digitalization completed. Subject of photo was in disguise. It is not Countess Forsyth. Subject is Venom agent Vanessa Warfield. Time to call in the team. Select the mask agents best suited for this mission for rendezvous in Zermatt, Switzerland. Brad Turner, expert motorcycle and helicopter pilot, civilian occupation, rock musician, vehicle code name, Condor. Eight 
hitchhiker, test pilot, civilian occupation, hardware store owner, vehicle code name, slingshot. Personnel approved. Assemble Mobile Armored Strike Command. One of them could be a Venom agent in disguise. Do you see anyone acting weird or strange? Only you! Hey, look at that guy! That beard is fake. He looks like Miles Mayhem! Come on! See if it's really him. Uh uh uh. Leave me out of it. If you won't help, I'll tell Dad you borrowed his electric shoe polisher to shine your kneecaps. You wouldn't. All right. What's your harebrained scheme this time? You were right. The three compartments do have something in common. Look here. Interesting. Back in the 1800s, they were the private quarters of King Ludwig. Mad King Ludwig, he slept in an empty swimming pool. He threw lavish parties for ducks, built crazy gigantic clocks. He was a regular loony. Looks like he was a regular passenger, too. But of course, he was crazy about the Orient Express. He even built a castle along its route, so he could travel on the train several times a year. It said he hid a fabulous treasure somewhere in his castle, but no one even knows what it is. Hmm. Mad King Ludwig's castle. Where is it located? You are fortunate. It is in Zermatt. Our next stop. Automated refreshments. Coffee, tea, or soda. Oh, what is your desire? I desire to be left alone. The drinks are on the house. I said I don't want it. How defective of me. I will try you. Yeah! Let's go! What do you think you're doing? <laughs> I guess your name's not Mayhem. I am Otto, champion wrestler! Whoa! I guess this means I get no tip. Help! I'm coming! a mess! This was all Venom's fault! Come on! But, but... Hurry, T-Bob! Oh. Oh. oh no! Help, Scott! Yikes! Scott! Come on, T-Bob! Oh, I'm safe! Not quite! We're on a runaway car! Scott! Oh! 
What's inside that door? A hammer. All that trouble for a crummy toy hammer. Hey, it's not a waste. Maybe someday you'll get some toy nails. Dagger, you've got more holes in your head than two tons of Swiss cheese. I'll take that. This toy is obviously a clue to Mad King Ludwig's treasure. To your vehicles! You're right, Matt. Venom is heading towards Mad King Ludwig's castle. Must have been crazy. Who'd need so many clocks? Maybe he was worried he'd be late for a psychiatrist appointment. Now that's interesting. Those knights battle it out. But one of them don't have a weapon. It ain't a fair fight. That's why I like it. The missing weapon. Yes, of course. A perfect fit. Now to make the clock strike again. A secret chamber. Vanessa, get the sacks out of Manta. King Ludwig's treasure is about to change hands. I just know somehow Dad's gonna need our help. Huh? A dead end! Looks like a solid steel panel. I'll get Piranha and use its laser cannon to blast it open. Idiot, you'll destroy the treasure! Mask is here! Hold them off while I check the other clocks. One of them must open the panel!
What's Mayhem up to? Could be looking inside the castle. All right, I'll see what's going on. Spectrum Hang Glider, on! Too much stress for you, Mayhem. Viper, on! Looks like I almost got cut from the team. <laughs> There's got to be a way to open that panel and get the treasure. If there really is a treasure. After all, King Ludwig was kind of cuckoo. Cuckoo? Cuckoo? Hey! The wall opened! A miniature of the Orient Express. So that's Mad King Ludwig's treasure. I guess to him, the train set was a real treasure. We'll be late for the ball game if we don't hurry. Stop, T-Bob. But the train's nowhere near here. Makes no difference. When there's a train warning signal, you don't cross the tracks no matter what. You never know what might happen. Yeah, that was pretty dumb of me. I'll never do that again. Thanks for putting me on the right track. <laughs> <laughs> 